This video is a screen replacement on an HP Elite Book 8570W. Um, if anything, this video will show is the simplicity of the screen replacement. This will be a quick video as I already have the job prepped, which I will explain why. I initially looked into it if it was even possible to do your own repair. I found it was, but the video is basically saying you could go to just any online store or any big box store online and get your replacement screen. These sites were all assumed that you knew what you were doing and knew exactly the screen you need. I went with LaptopScreen.com because the site was helpful and made me aware of such things as screen resolution, the pin connector could be a 40 or a 30, etc. Does your screen have options? Is it a on cell touch display? Does it have embedded touch panels, etc. The thing that I um, took away most from the site that was the surefire way to make sure you get the correct screen is to use an actual part number versus the model number of the computer. This is done by looking directly at the part, in this case the screen, which you would have to remove to get to the part number. This is good for two reasons actually, because you can actually see how easy the job is. It's something you can handle and it will ensure you get the correct part number at the same time, the correct part. Which is why mine is already partially taken apart. I will go back to step one, which is to remove the bezel. This is the bezel here. As you see, there's two. What you're basically going to do is remove this little square thing here. You can move it with your finger, or you could remove it with tweezers or something small. There's two screws here on each corner. Once you remove those screws, you... And you're going to use, I think for that one, was this, a star bit. If you can see that, it's an S2. I'm going to show you on this, you'll probably be able to see it better. There's your star bit, if you can see it. After you remove those two screws, you want to use a tool such as this to pry off the screen. Um, you don't need this. I'm going to be honest with you. For the HP 8570W, I just literally popped it right off with my hands like this. Went around. You'll see the stickers on it. Once you have the bezel off, you've got some screws down here. Once again, they've been removed. Then you've got your two up here at the top. We're going to remove one of them right now. So you can see. There's your star bit again. go that's all all right so those two screws are out at the top now you'll see the back itself flops right down you've got your screws on the side there's four of them here I've already got three of them removed oh that's right it's a Phillips there's just small Phillips this is a Phillips number one don't use a number two it's too big you see I just dropped a screw but second because I want to show you something else about the screws once it's removed from this bracket it should be pretty much free floating that's why I have my hand on it so I'm gonna take the screws now and I'm gonna put them over here on this magnet as you can see um, I either use a magnet bowl or I use a magnet just such as this um, you just don't want, if something goes flying, you don't want to lose all your screws. Your next part, and I've already got this pulled off here now, is your connector. Screen's out. That one's done. Here's your new screen. It's got some messages that you don't want to pull any of this stuff off. Um, obviously, this little piece can remain there after because you're going to pull this screen protector here off, but we're going to keep it in place for now. Um, obviously, this is the bottom where you're going to connect your pin connector to after. We're going to put it right in here. And we're going to use those same screws we just had to get it back together. So we got all these screws in here now. You can see the screen's all back in, nice and nice. The next thing you're gonna do is the connector. We're gonna take the connector back in the back. It's a little, seems a little tricky, but I 
get it snapped in right and want to make sure that it lines up correctly. It definitely gives me a hard time. One side doesn't want to go in for some reason. There we go. Got it now. So it's definitely in now. And then they, I like this that they have tape free here. Oh, by the way, there's your part number you were looking for. Uh, here it is over here for the, the screen itself. It's got part numbers all over it. All right, so this has got the tape because that, that part number is actually for the ribbon. But um, that's locked in there good. I'm going to give it a test now at this point, see if it's um, going to come on. I can tell already it works because we wouldn't have seen what's going on the bottom because with the old screen, that's what was broke. There you go. So we know it's working at this point. So all we got left is close up the back. And I remember specifically these two big black screws here were going up there. I do believe, or are they on the bottom? That's the question. I don't remember actually. And put all our screws back in. You'd think this would go in easier, wouldn't you? So those two black screws, um, they actually go for the bezel after, I remember it now. And um, if the silver screws all went on the inside here. Um, we've got one more here to go in, down here. This one still needs a little tightening here. You can see where they all were now, down here, 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 here. That's in there pretty good. I mean, at this point, I would probably feel safe pulling this off. There's a beautiful new screen, and all you have left at this point is the bezel back on. Where, let me see, get that to see how it snaps in there. And it goes down around all the way around until you get to the ends. We're um, um, down here, so it's in. That's, oh, there it is. now it's in. That's done. I keep saying that. But, um, a little more up there. There you go. This down here, um, you still need your two screws that we had. Those two black ones I was having trouble with before. They go in here for the bezel. And then you put your two little black covers on. And that's it. You're done at this point. You've got a new screen. I'd say total under 10 minutes taking it apart. Under 10 minutes putting it back together. Um, it's an exaggeration on to taking it apart. The only reason I would say it was 10 minutes is because it was um, my first time. And I was very cautious making sure I'm looking at everything before I started taking things apart. And that's it. Done.